Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 25. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, we are back for another series. Another championship thing this is a five race one this time uh and it's gonna be uh super sport 600 so we're taking the suzuki gsx r 600 racing modify uh i think this is legal it is awesome uh, so we're starting off with the Sakuba circuit, moving on to Autumn Ring, then Deep Forest Raceway, then Midfield, and then Grand Valley Speedway. This should take around about 35 to 40 minutes to do, so I think this will all be in one video. Let's do this. Right, here we go. We're at the Sakuba circuit. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a win here. Um, so the sort of... What is it? The goal is to get at least three wins because if we get three wins the uh, other bikes can't overtake us no matter what um it, that is three wins and two second places so those are our goals for this entire race um if we could get that epic if not problem sabotage might be necessary We've gotten one overtake so far, though, and we have done amazingly to get up to the position we are now. About to make our second overtake. For a bit of a wheelie as well. I feel like I might have to take a picture of that for a thumbnail. Hopefully we can get, like, the bike on a wheelie as a thumbnail picture. That'd be fucking sick. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Perfecto. I'm trying to think of like random words that are perfect or that you know means perfect. So that I don't like sound like I'm saying perfect constantly over and over again. It's like my word. You'll hear me say it so much. You'll get bored of it. We are coming out to get in the first place though. Something that we couldn't actually do in the first championship and the very first race of today's recording session. In the uh, 125cc championship. We were unable to get that first place around Sakuba in five laps. Which was an absolute shame. Oh, contact, contact, contact. Come on, let's do this. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. We now have two more laps left to go around Sakuba. Absolutely stunning track this is. It's such a good track for bikes and for cars. Obviously not supercars. More like small hatchbacks. But still. Absolutely stunning track. And the fact that this track is basically just owned by Dunlop. And you've got the massive Dunlop donut thing just there. It's insane. What is, is Dunlop a Japanese company? 
Because obviously you've got the Dunlop corner in um, Suzuka as well, haven't you? You've got the Dunlop corner there. That might be interesting to uh, research at some point. Awesome. Bum, 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 bananam, bum, bum, bananam, bum, 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 bum. That is the world's best meme, and that will go down as like a classic for years to come. Very nice. Awesome. Perfect. Very nice. G G finish. And there we go. We got ourselves a win. We got ourselves the win at Sakuba. Very good. Very good, very nice. Right, so we're currently sat at 10 points and we are gonna be going around the auto ring for five laps. This is gonna be another short circuit. A little bit longer than Sakuba in terms of time-wise. But um, it's still a very short track. About one minute, 20 seconds to do this entire circuit. Here we go. These corners are a little bit tricky to do. Um, if you're doing the auto ring mini, it's a lot more difficult to get a perfect entry into those corners. If you're doing the uh, full auto ring circuit, those corners are a lot easier to take. Awesome. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Awesome. Very good corner on the inside there. Getting the overtake. Horrific exit there, though. Absolutely horrifying. So we did lose ourselves a lot of time there. Right, aiming for a 1 minute 20, I think, for this next one. If we don't fall off, we could get it. Awesome. Nice. That was epic. I haven't actually checked. Is this track on uh, Gran Turismo PSP? I think it might be. Because if it is, I'm going to have to make like one of my videos on it. I'm going to have to make like a really cool cinematic with an awesome car. I don't know. What would I take? Obviously, I take suggestions all the time. Anyone wants to see like an awesome car going around an awesome track, let me know. That is awesome. Nice. Go, 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 go. Oh, we've gone wide. Ah, uh, rubbish. Okay, so we can easily get ourselves on 1 minute 22. Easy. Not today, though. Not with that corner, then. Do 
you have to start turning so much earlier into corners. So the uh, driving lines with bikes compared to cars are so much more open. Cars will take a so... But as well, cars, like, you can't brake at all while turning. Whereas bikes, you can just use the rear brake and it doesn't do much whatsoever. Cars, if you brake while turning, you can spin out easily. Because the brakes will just lock. Hey, we did a good corner through there this time. I don't know why I was expecting a 1 minute 20 though. I think that was just me being a bit extreme on like times and that. Oh yeah, we could easily get 1 minute 20. Not. Nice. Come on, come on, get around the corner. Awesome. This is perfect. I think all of these tracks are like 1 minute 20 a lap tracks, except the last one, which is about 2 minutes a lap. So uh, this will definitely take under, what, 40 minutes to do this video, probably, I don't know. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. It's the final time we're going around the autumn ring. For now. Nice. And there we go, across the finish line. And now this thing's driving outside my window. One of those ride-on lawnmowers just driving outside of my window right now. That was a bang. That was a crash. Rip. Very nice, though. Welcome to the Deep Forest Raceway, where today we are deep in the forest on a raceway, driving the Suzuki. For round number three. That was the cringiest intro to a clip ever, but I'm gonna keep it anyways, because fuck it. I also can't see out my window because or see my screen because my window is bright as fuck. I opened the blinds to shut the window. <laughs> I forgot to close them back up. I now can't see for the entire of this race because I'm not pausing it. Great. I'm blind. I may as well be blind because I can barely see what's going on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
Okay, 7.3 seconds we need to gain. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh! Okay, we need to watch out for that corner. That is a very dangerous corner. Again, the rules are we need to hit at least sec uh, first on three and second on two. So we've come first on one. If we come first again, then the next two races we can have a little bit of freedom coming second. If we don't and we come second now, we have to come first in at least one of the races of the next two. So hopefully we can get that first place dealt sooner rather than later. Because then I don't have to worry about it. Because obviously second place I haven't had a struggle at all getting. It's the first place that we've had struggles with. Unbelievable. We cannot go that quick round that corner. But obviously we got a very good exit out of that because of us crashing. And we didn't get a penalty, so... I mean, it's personal choice, really, whether that was penalty-worthy or not. Like, it depends. Because there is def we definitely got a bonus. I can't believe, though, we've fallen off twice already. And the rest of the races have been perfect. Actually, no, I lie. We uh, fell off in uh, the other one, didn't we? Awesome. Had to uh, lift my rider up a little bit just to make sure that I didn't hit the inside wall there. Because uh, one tap of the wall and you're instantly falling off. Which I presume tapping a wall with your helmet would probably break your neck in real life if you were going at speeds of 150. I can imagine that would be very painful and not something I want to endure ever in my life. Perfect. Relying on the rear brakes there to make sure that we can get round the corner as quickly and efficiently as possible. Seems to be a very good strategy on this track. Especially during the, uh, well I call it the middle section. Because it's like the middle of the map. But that section there, if you use your rear brake perfectly... You can actually get yourself a lot of time. And here, to make sure that you stably get around the corner, rear brakes until the curb is gone is perfect. and always gets you around the corner very nicely. It may not be the fastest, but it's definitely the uh, less risky option. If you're looking for the fastest lap time over one lap, do it. By all means, don't use the rear brake for that straight section. Because you can do it. But if you want to actually... Ah, oh, yeah. I forget I need to slow down before the hump. Otherwise, I crash. The fact is, this is the only bike I've actually had to slow down for the hump. So, yeah. Rear brakes. Oh, no. Horrendous. 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 Don't, don't take my advice for that one. Use the rear brakes way earlier. Awesome. That was much better. Awesome. And that was perfect. Flooring it through the tunnels. Let's go. Very close to the barrier on the inside there. And that's why you can't go flat out. And you need to use your rear brakes. 
Ugh, can we stop falling off? We've got so much of a distance, it doesn't matter, but... I would like to not fall off, please, game. Thank you. Thanks for listening to my uh, one wish. Okay, so we need to go brakes, accelerate, brakes. Perfect. Nailed that corner. I actually wonder how the AI does it. Because I don't presume they would use the brakes until after they get over the jump. Here we go. Rear brakes now. Get round there. And then onto the main brakes. See, that's how you use the rear brakes through there. Nice. Oh. Little bit of sketchiness through there. I presume you would get quite worn tyres on the... Uh, what side is it going to be? The uh, left-hand side. For this. For these tracks. So... Perfect. Here we go to the final straight, to the finish, and we're across the line. Very nice. 7 minutes 15.5. Good time. Good, good time. Lovely. Right, we are here at Midfield Raceway. Time to go. We're probably going to fall off a couple of times in the final section of the lap. Um, and hopefully we don't fall... Uh, hopefully? Nope. That's not a word. Hopefully we don't fall off at this section either. Because this is a... Uh, extremely fast area. Very nice. Oh yeah. The next uh, series is the super bikes. The 1000 super bikes. I know exactly what bike I'm taking. It's going to be this one. Just the uh, GSX 1000 version. The Suzuki bike is actually so much more powerful than any other bike. It, or is it's not more powerful, but it's definitely my favourite of all the bikes. Nice. Okay, so this is obviously the risky corner. The corner that no one likes. Or maybe other people do like it. Just me, who doesn't like it. Could be. But I know I don't like it. Cars are fine. Sort of. Bikes, not a chance in hell. Awesome. Look at that. Nice. Oh no, we've been overtaken. That's not great. Uh, there is a fly trying to fly into my window. That was so distracting. Ah, oh, it's actually ruined my race. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. That was literally... I don't understand why there was a fly trying to get into my window. We do have our safety zone though. So we can get either second and second on the next one and still win or third and then we have to get first but uh, we do have that safety zone so if we can only get two bikes it's fine I would like to get first in all of them everyone would love to 
Obviously, if it was Gran Turismo 4, I'd need to get first in all of them to get that final bike, uh, final car. Um, but yeah, it's fine. Oh, what is that? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do that. Gran Turismo 7 is going to be an amazing looking game. I've mentioned this so much in the past series, but I really, really am looking forward to it. And when Gran Turismo 7 does finally come out, I can shut up about it. <laughs> but I am going to aim to get Gran uh, the PS5 by the end of the year, hopefully. Ah, oh, unbelievable. There we go, very nice. Awesome, awesome, perfect. Oh crap, 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 nice. We are coming on to the final lap in a minute. So we may not get that first place unfortunately, unless we push right now. What the hell happened there? Why did the bike not shift down? Big confusing. At least get the second place, come on. There we go, nice. I'll blame it on the fly that was outside my window that crashed into it. That's why I crashed. This track looks so much longer than Sakuba, but it takes probably the same amount of time. It takes about 10 seconds longer that flies back. I saw it in the corner of my eye. It's trying to get into my window. Come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can we get him on the inside? Are we going to get it? No way. We now have a safety zone of coming third in the next race to win now. That is insane. Impressive. Wow. Look at that. In fact, if we come last, I get three points. That takes me up to 43. Second place can only get up to 31. I didn't even realize the bikes have been swapping around. Well, we've won. Guaranteed. I could just skip the next race, but we're going to do it anyways. Because, like... That's no point in that. Right, we are here at Grand Valley Speedway. I've got an hour and a bit to uh, finish off this and the next series. I've made sure I've closed my window so I can see now. But let's go and do this. I probably should have restarted recording. Oh, well. Very nice. around this first corner as smoothly as possible 
This is going to take about 10 minutes for this race due to the uh, length of the circuit. It's a pretty long one. But the races get even longer when it comes to the uh, Tourist Trophy World Series. I can guarantee you that. I think it's like... What? Oh, no. Great. I messed up that corner. Lovely. Uh, when it comes to the Tourist Trophy World Championship, I think each race is roughly 10 laps. So that will definitely be split up into at least three videos doing that. Seven tracks is what? Two, three, two. Yeah, sounds good. Awesome. Oh, careful. Watch what you're doing. What you're doing. Nice. Go, go, go. Nice. I am looking forward. Um, I know I've said this a lot. But I am really looking forward to playing all of the Forzas going through. Obviously, it's 100% confirmed I'm going to be doing Forza Motorsport 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and that's going to take me a good few years just to do those. At least two years to do all of those games. Maybe more. Um, but if I do do the ones afterwards, so Horizon, Motorsport 5... Uh, that will take me an extra probably three years to do all that. By that time, there'll be another two or three Horizon games. That, there'll definitely be Horizon 5 out by then. Um, so that'll be interesting. And by that point, I probably will have bought myself a Series X. There'll probably be another one after that as well. So, you know. Bum, 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 awesome. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Hopefully by like this time next year we'll have Horizon 5. Um, but I have a feeling that's going to be a Series X only game. So it will be a shame to not be able to play that straight away. Because I'm not getting a Series X for at least two or three years. Um, it's either the Series X, then the PS5, or the PS5, then the Series X. It, I can't afford both at the same time. And unfortunately, I am picking Gran Turismo over Forza right now. Because I've got all the old Forza games anyways. I can play through them instead. I can guarantee you it's a bad decision, what I'm doing, but hopefully it's okay. I mean, when you think about it, there aren't many Gran Turismo walkthroughs out there compared to Forza. Forza's got quite a few. But I know the biggest like walkthroughs of any Forza game uh, definitely come from either Game Riot. Game Riot does some amazing walkthroughs. He was the uh, first one that I watched, like, 
I've been watching all of the racing games I watch his series, so um, always, it's mandatory. But uh, good for classic walkthroughs as well as Rhino GT4. Absolutely decent. He's done all of the Gran Turismo's in the space of about three or four years. Um, but yeah, pretty impressive. Impressive what he's done. And then you just got me sat in the corner. Lonely old me. Awesome. That is lap number three done. We have two more laps left to go now. Well, not quite, but that is pretty much... As soon as you get out of the S-Bend, that's pretty much the lap completed. There's nothing more left. Here we go. Much, much slower, that lap this time. Nice. This is good. Right, hairpin coming up. Nearly did what we did on lap one then. Crashing the uh, bike out. What the hell is that? Uh, don't fly towards me. The fly got in the window. Ah, uh, that scared the life out of me. Get out. Thank you. The fly has become a meme of this video. What was it? Midfield raceway made me crash. And then here, it's just managed to do a mission impossible and get in between it and just like now is in my room oh, I can feel it on my arm Jesus go away <laughs> right here we go coming up to the final lap let's go Nice, 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 nice. Awesome. Let's see if we can get a decent lap for the final lap. At least under two minutes and five seconds. Obviously, we've got orange rear tires right now. So they are low on tread, even though they're slick tires. Still doesn't have a lot of grit. You can definitely feel it trailing off as you drive. But uh, because it slowly trails off, you sort of adjust to it. It's not like a sudden loss of grip. I know um, Tokyo R246 on the Gran Turismo World Tour, I had a massive problem because it did feel very sudden <laughs> and there was just no grip whatsoever. But look at that though, eight second lead. Plenty of time, plenty of distance. I feel like when we do come on to like the 10 lap races, we are going to have to take hard tyres. Awesome. 
awesome. Are we gonna get the 205? Two hundred four point seven. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's very good. And that is maximum points as well. Fifty points. Very nice. G to the fucking G. GG. Nice. Well, uh, I completely zoned out and forgot to start recording. <laughs> but here we go. We got some new riding gear. Very nice. We got two helmets. I don't think we've earned anything other than helmets lately. But uh, here we go. We got the... Uh, oh, is this a special one? Yes, it is. A Motul Tiger Racing CB1000 Double R. Nice. Morawaki as well. It's not a Suzuki. Sick. That is awesome. We got ourselves some new headgear. We got ourselves a special racing number. Very nice. I wonder what kind of bike it's going to let us take for the next one. Um, but that is this championship done. We're now moving on to Superbike 1000. Let's do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.